Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukwa Kadash, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give you peace and blessings to the I came across the four corners of the earth with teach this truth. And we're slide to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Load the videos at a fine loading. I can get something from this video. Um, quick news article I was reading um, entitled, uh, titled, Newly Discovered Super Earth Ross 508B, located just 37 light years away, may possess potential to support life. Okay. And the first scripture that was brought to my mind was this. In my father's house, uh, there are many mansions. So let's grab that. Maybe I'll type it in there wrong. Yeah, John 14 and 2, it says, um, well, I'll start at 1, it says, let, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the most high, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And that's how I was shy talking. Okay. I understand that, you know, once we're in rule, you know, once we're set up back on the throne of the world, so to speak, or the universe, so to speak, we're going to have, you know, precious things. We're going to have things that are out of this world, literally. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're going to dwell on the earth, too. But brothers are each going to have their own dwelling place as well. Like brothers are going to have their own own planets. You know, and I, I know it seemed far fetched for the mass majority of people. But I mean, you know, if we was to break down these scriptures to you and made it as plain as possible, if the Lord wants you to get it, you're not going to get it. OK, you know, all these planets. You see, these things wasn't, you know, these people mock and say, oh, they think planets is formed. They think. UFOs is coming down, so you know, so called UFOs is coming down this net, blase, blase, right? But scriptures mention all these things, okay? I mean, how else? I mean, we, you know, this it's a it's it's a different type of travel, not on your comprehension, not on a world's comprehension. See, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high, the most high is intelligent, you can't put, you know. Um, a brace or you can't put a stop on the most high's intelligence. You can't measure it, you know? So with nothing is created in vain. Like nothing is created for no reason, I should say. So these other earth, these other uh, earth like planets, right. Th that are bigger than the earth, right. That is inhabitable. They're created for the elect's sake, man. Okay. It says, Isaiah 2 and 2, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. So once we start living like that, once the law is established and it's pushed throughout the earth, you know, and, and we police it, you know, we're going to police the universe with it. Not just the earth, but the universe with it. And it's going to be the way to live. It says, And shall be exalted above the hills, right, which is a form of government. And also, and us, like it says, the Lord, uh, the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, which are, which is a form of government. And then it says, and shall be exalted above the hills, which is another form of government, right? Which is a smaller body of government. It says, and all nations shall flow unto it. Yeah, it says, all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, come up, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh, to the house of the most high power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. You know, and our ways will be that of the of the law. OK, so it's not far fetched. Right. That we're in it, well, it says be fruitful. What's one of the commandments? Be fruitful and multiply. Right. It says that we're going to, you know, uh, uh, our little ones are going to are going to become many. OK, many are going to become many. So they're going to become many. Right. It's not far fetched that they're not just going to dwell on earth. If we're, if we're going to be immortal in the kingdom, it's not far fetched that we're not going to be able to time travel. I'm not time travel. We're not going to be able to travel through different planets and things of that nature. Okay. And inhabited these different things that Yahweh shall prepare for us. It says, and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law 
in the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. So it's not far fetched, man, that, you know, once we're back on top, because really the earth was created for us, but we went off. OK, we went off. We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So what? We got put under subjection. OK. Right. But guess what? With us being under subjection and Yahweh shot being away, he has prepared the place for his men. OK, it says. Um, this, I'm going to kind of read a little bit of the article. It says, are we alone in this universe? Is something many is something many of us uh, have asked ourselves while humanity has no definite answers to this question yet. Scientists are constantly on the lookout for clues that might point the existence of extraterrestrial life. And what better way to start than to find other Earth-like planets that might be capable of sustaining life? Now, the Lord is not going to let these Edomites or these heathen get to these different Earths, man, these different uh, Earth-like planets. Right, because what do they do with Earth? The Earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked is ruling the Earth. The Earth is wicked. So, what do you think they're going to do with these other planets? The same exact thing. If they have their hands on them, but they can't. The only thing they can do is look at them and mesmerize. Okay, it says of late, there's been a large influx of research probing into exoplanets all through. What? <laughs> okay. It says although the motivation behind these studies varies across. Organ organizations, some are merely looking for a solution to the alien life puzzle, while others are hunting for a second home for us Earthling to settle on. So, I mean, you're not going to settle. You're not going to escape the judgment. OK, it's, you know, and that's really what they want to do. They want to escape and they fantasize about escaping. You're not going to escape the judgment of the Lord, man. You know, but yeah, of course, don't be surprised when they find more things, you know. Whether it's forty years light away, thirty-seven years light, light years away, you know, don't don't be surprised. It's more things out there. I mean, we're in one galaxy amongst billions of galaxies, so you know, that's why the scriptures say that you know we don't even have, we can't even fathom really what is prepared for us, man. Okay, always remember that, man. So with that, low one videos ever find low. I can got something from this video. I'm gonna give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Bahashimi Hashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashimi Kakadash. I'm going to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next one.